Hey everybody, Buddy Rumpskin here, and today we're doing a 4 for McDorfer, that's right! We got an armor mod over there, and we got a weapon mod over there, and we got another weapon mod here, and we're doing a quest mod. Looks like I'm, I'm holding a little nail, but it's a screwdriver, actually. And Puppy knows about that, it's that Puppy knows. So that's right, we're doing a 4 for McDorfer. What we're looking at here are the weapons of Shogunate. As you can see, it's all samurai swords. Very cool. It says W-O-T-S, so you know it's weapons of the Shogunate. Uh, I kind of wish the, the W-O-T-S wasn't in front of the um, name for each sword, but uh, it, I mean, it's uh, pretty cool. I like this one, this big little pointy stick. It's my favorite, I think. So very nice, awesome custom meshes, custom textures. Textures are a little bit... Um, a little bit bland. Um, I wish they were a little bit shinier. The blades, they're, they're kind of dull, as you can see. They're not really that reflective. They kind of look like they're cardboardy. But nonetheless, cool, cool mod. Um, this is the screwdriver mod, as we can see here. Um, <laughs> it's not going to be... Uh, it's going to be a piece of crap compared to our um, other things. This will probably be a last resort weapon, but since we have our swords, not sure how much we're going to be using it. So damage four. And then our other swords, these are all much more powerful. So I'm going to include these. The shuriken, I, I was looking at it before, kind of kind of lame because it kind of floats there. And you don't throw it, you just, yeah. you kind of, it kind of floats. So I, I, I don't like that one that much. But uh, we're going to be looking at these um, Army of Two masks. I, I believe that's the name of the mod, I'm not completely sure, but... These are basically um, Army of Two. So we got a whole bunch of different ones. We got Punisher, Brotherhood of Steel, um, Jason Mask, Iron Man, uh, Camo SSC, Hellspawn, AOT, America's Pride, Aqua Camo, a whole bunch of other ones. And the this one is the complete opposite. Um, these are kind of too reflective. You can see the sun is glaring off of these guys, which is kind of a... Just, you know, it's kind of a distraction, but at the same time, kind of cool. Yeah, we we get it, puppy. So we're gonna take these. I'm gonna I'm gonna wear the Grim Reaper, I think. And um, let's take a look real quick. Yeah, do this. And it looks kind of cool. I like it. Um, sweet custom mesh and obviously custom texture. And I, I like the wraparound on the back. A little bit bulky, but um, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Especially, um, yeah, not too bad. Swing. I'm gonna go fight with my magical sword and, and my invisible shuriken. Okay, Cooley McDooley. There we go. This is the one I like. Yeah, sweet. So today we're gonna be looking at Iguanas the Quest mod. We're only taking Drinkin' and Jerry because Steve or someone has been just shitting on every quest mod we do and just destroying everything we try to do. So I'm gonna do um uh kinda like a do 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 what is it called? The process of elimination and slowly find out who is uh who's causing these problems basically um some people said it was it might be steve just because he's a rad roach so in fallout 3 it's different from vegas where rad roaches no matter what attack anything or they're always viewed as enemies but of course the other rad roach mod um the original one that was made for me the uh can't think of the name of it but anyway, I, I've had um, I've had Rad Roach companions of all three, and they haven't attacked people. For, so, so something's going on. Um, so this iguana mod starts in the muddy rudder. There's a little note, and that'll start our quest. So this quest uh, shows why and how there are iguanas in the wasteland. So there should be a note. Here we go. Help wanted. Take help wanted. Help wanted. All right. Hey, lady, lady, belly, belly, belly. I'm Bell no one, no one, no one cares. Um, it, it, nice place. You must be drunk. Yeah, shut up. Listen, um, what's this help wanted note about? Huh, I'm surprised that you care. Usually everyone looks out for themselves nowadays. I wanted to buy some What food. is it you want to know? Uh, why don't you look for yourself? You know, I think I've had my fill of wasteland roaming and picking through ruined buildings for a while. I haven't. Where can I find Emily? You may as well take this map. Thank you. I want stim packs. What the hell do you want? That's what, that's what I was... Heard any good stories? I'll have a drink. You probably don't have any. Oh, you do. You have eight. Take eight stim packs. Thank you very much. A pleasure doing... Bye-bye. Let's read the note. I didn't realize that she had her own little quest thing. Um, let's read the note. Help wanted. 
ooh, excuse me. If you're interested in, uh, you can earn some caps. The last few weeks, I didn't get any deliveries of fresh iguana for my friend Emily. Maybe she is ill and needs some and needs some help. My business doesn't allow me to visit her. If you are willing to visit her for me, simply ask Bell. Oh, so it's her, dumb bitch. She knew all about it. All right, boys and girls, let's get moving. Remember, this is a rescue mission, so don't take any crazy pot shots knocking out anyone. Especially you, puppy. Off the wall, brazen son of a bitch. Shooting some... Oh, oh. Okay, cool. So, um, this should be good. I'm hoping this is a adequately long uh, f mod. Because um, that's the type I like. Which... Where do we get the hell out of here? Marketplace or the get the hell out of here door. This one, I guess. There we go. Sweet. The get the hell out of here door. Oh, oh, we're going to get the hell out of here. here oh. um, and for those of you who are wondering if I'm going to be finishing a note, um, a note easily missed, I'm going to be trying. It's just a very note, obviously, a very note heavy mod and it just kind of makes me want to kill myself sometimes so I know it kind of dropped off mid part two but um, hopefully I'll be finishing that soon I still have the save game so I didn't delete them I look like such a badass look at me I'm gonna slice some iguanas up and then some bambas the bambas that's a car oh this is where oh that's where the thing is and people's I want to try out these swords. I didn't look at the weapon damage for these at all. And my screwdriver will come in hand. Oh, there's a fight going on. Hello? Anyone here? Oh, there's a wild boar. I'll have to ch I wanted to use the weapons. I wanted... I want to use the... Come on. No, no, oh, Jesus. Okay, you guys can get this. It's a robot. No, I'm going in. Going in. Go Get him, puppy. Get him. Yeah. You never expected four of us. Yeah, damn right. Yeah. <clears throat> Dead. And I'll take this. Good job, people. Let's move. And the next weapon up is this wonderful baby knife. Wonderful. Scratch your head. Hello? Oh god, there's babies. Help Emily to get out. Emily? Em Emily? Oh god, Emily, we're gonna get you at- Get it, get it, get, get, get. Emily, where's the key? Emily? Oh god. Uh, open the, open the cage. The cage is now open. Okay. It's gonna be okay, babe. It's gonna be okay. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh god. Oh god, glass I got her. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> There's so many. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love these enemies. These are amazing. This sword is like the perfect goddamn weapon for this mod. Any more, guys? Oh, where are you going, bait? Oh, oh, I got a whole little family over here. You killed a lot of An An uh, Emily's iguanas, but some of them escaped. Now they are spreading all over the wastes. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I'll just turn it off. Still got some people. Oh, where are you going, buddy boy? Nowhere. Going to Deadville. Good job, puppy. Good job. Figure out what was going on here. Seems like Emily had some extra business. That that wasn't just shut up, puppy. Okay, research. Research data. First entry. I read several pre-war books to understand how to handle these creatures correctly. Book says that iguana is a herbivore, so I should feed them plants and vegetables. <laughs> Not an easy task to get my hands on these things. I wonder how this guy whom Bell thought bought them from managed to keep them alive. He said those iguanas were always with his family, and he got a couple of them from his fa father on his 18th birthday. I don't think I can believe him. My little critters are starving. Second entry. Finally, I found something to feed them. They love mole rat meat with a little bit of grass. Also, bloatflies are on their diet as well. I'm not sure about 
but Pepper, the female one, got more aggressive the last few days. I assume she's cranky because she's ready to have offspring, and the babies are coming out, and they're like, we're babies. I guessed right. Pepper is now a proud mother of a thousand little iguanas. They're so cute, intelligent, and she's just bit protective, but allowed, she's like, okay, you can touch them. One tap on the back, and they look at me. Another tap, and they run around in circles like they want to play with my finger. I never saw this behavior from Salt or Pepper. Maybe the young ones accept me and their family because I watched their birth. I don't know for sure, but I'm excited nonetheless. Fourth entry. Breeding works perfectly with a new diet. Once a year, I got a bunch of new iguanas. I learned a lot in the meantime about how to breed them correctly. The key is the temperature. The egg should be kept between 36 and 37.8 Celsius to get the best results. If it's too cold or warm, they rot instantly. Like, they explode. It's disgusting. There's also one strange thing I observed from Salt as I was taking a walk with him last night. Suddenly, he didn't move anymore. It looked like he was frozen. As I took him in the house, he suddenly woke up as if nothing has happened. I assume this is also a temperature thing because it was freezing cold yesterday. Counts. So she probably bred them and then they, they, they hungered for meat. They wanted some sweet lady meat. Sealed letter for Belle. Don't worry, babe. Don't, don't worry. Let me just... There we go. I want the head. Puppy, you can get the arm. We're, I'm, I, I call dibs on the, on the head. If I, if I can just get the... If I can get... Okay, alright. Nope, nope. Head does not want to come off. Oh, there's a little bit of human flesh. Oh, and I'm stuck in a corner now. Oh, dearie. This is... Okay, she was feeding them mother... Oh, Jesus, no. She was feeding them people. What a bitch. What a... Ew. Ew, you couldn't just leave it bloat fly meat? You gotta start killing people? You sick son of a bitch. You get your baby head in that. You... Ah, you nasty son of a bitch. Close this door on your head. Yeah! Oh, yeah, you like that. All right, buddy. All right, pups, let's go outside. Stop the inspection, infection, not the, in, you know, just shut up. Okay, let's go upstairs, check for any clues. Nothing. There's a bed. Sleep here for an hour. Ooh, wow, she had a shotgun. She had a lot of stuff. I don't need any of this. Where's my big, my big, there's my big baby. All right, come on. Well, let's rolly. What is that? Oh, wow. These are iguanas on sticks. Nice. All right, peeps. Where did uh, Jerry and... Where did Jerry and uh, Abe, look? Abe go? Is that a ghoul? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Puppy, run. Run. They're coming. Oh, Jesus. Puppy, get over here. Oh, damn it, puppy. Making me run into danger. Oh, great. This isn't gonna work. You... Oh, you're wearing the masks! Oh, you're wearing the masks! Oh, that's not good. This is... Oh, Jesus. Ow, ow. Oh, that's awesome. So Talon Company gets their own masks. Where did that guy... Oh, this is awesome. So Raiders and Talon Company guys wear their own... Um, mask from the uh, mask mod. That's awesome. We should leave them to be. We kill this asshole. Yeah, you like that, you goddamn hussy? Welcome to the real world. Road rules. Who's that? You're a slaver. You get to die next. Thought you were getting away, smoking cigarettes, lady. Not today, man. Not today. So much. Oh! So much fighting. <laughs> oh, God. We're, we're coming for you, buddy. No army of two masks will save you now. From the, the fury of Lincoln. It'll consume you like a small baby. Gnawing at your bones. Here we come, boys and girls. Jerry, leave me some. Leave me. Leave me some. I was just playing, I swear. So will we, buddy boy. Get back here. Oh, yeah, you get back here, you son of a bitch. Trying to hurt my family and my loved iguanas? Not today. <laughs> Didn't even hit you, you died. Heart attack. Too many cheeseburgers. Don't let them get away, Jerry. Yeah, good job, Jerry. So 
Someone's hurting puppy. Get away from my goddamn puppy, you bitch. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Oh. Okay, so, so far, I mean, we haven't, there haven't been really any friendly, um, NPCs in this mod, because Emily got her face ripped off instantaneously, so I'm not sure if we've been able to whittle down, um, uh, who's been the cause. So I'm not sure, there's a map marker here, I'm gonna look around and see if there's anything in this barn. Nope. So it's really cool that the masks, that the, um, uh, D -D -D -D, the, uh, you know, these guys get masks. I always like it when mods incorporate themselves in the game. Anything in here, pups? Kind of awkward, though, that Lincoln and Jerry don't like coming inside buildings. You want this pup? You want a gun? I'll shoot, I'll, I'll teach you to shoot when you stop looking like a wiener. Okay, nothing in there. Um, I just want to explore in here again, see if there's anything, just because there's a map marker. Of course, it could just be a case of the mod maker forgetting to turn off the map marker for this one. Is there anything? Just her dead body. Oh, wait, she gave me a note. That's right. Dear Belle, it's so incredible I can't tell anyone but to take note to myself. Maybe you can understand me after all. This whole iguana thing was your idea. We both saw a lot of them back in the days. I hope you will understand. I finally found a way to increase the breeding rate. It was by accident, I swear. There was this guy called the Hunter and he sold me some meat and I fed it to them and they were like, Sweet Jesus, my dick is hard as a morning sunrise. Normally they only breed once a year, but then they were banging like cheetahs. After I found out exactly what it was, I was like, Sweet Jesus, it's baby, it's baby meat. But come to think of it, that makes it a lot easier to get their food now. And you know, I don't have to buy it from some ass anymore. I, I, I can find the food anywhere. The wasteland's full of it. You know, there's some raiders near I promise to help me to acquire the meat if I supply them with some iguanas. So it's, it's a wonderful arrangement. Um, somehow they look a bit more aggressive. I, th I think it's because, you know, they keep eating and, and banging each other like small baby rabbits. Um, I'm, I'm suspecting some kind of mutation since I found a pre-war book about iguanas. And apparently they're, they only like leaves, but now they're just, they're eating everything. It's, it's disgusting. Yesterday I put a man's penis in the cage and they devoured it. Belle, thank you. It was a marvelous idea. And I just want to sell, um, to buy, buy we, the, when, when it was amazing. Thank you for the idea. And from now on, you don't have to pay a single cap for iguana on a stick or raw iguana because we are going to be rich and I'm going to buy you a yacht and we're going to make love on it. All right, so that's what she said about that. So we're going to go back to Rivet City and cut everyone's throat open. Just kidding. Or am I? Um, so let's go to Rivet City. And I really hope there's a, um, I hope there's like a, an ending to this. I get the feeling it's just gonna be like, well, that's how the iguanas got out. <laughs> oh, ain't that crazy? And then that's just gonna be the end of the mod. And I'm gonna have to kick someone in the mouth. Um, I really hope there's like, all right, you gotta go here and blow up the the iguana, the iguana baby factory. And I'll be like, I can't. I, I, I promise myself I'd never kill children. And then what and then sh she'll be like. I uh, know, but your Ooh, robot yeah. never said that. And then a robot will walk in the room and it'd be like, I love killing babies. And I'd be like, my God, what has science done? And then we'd go out and, and then we'd open a door and there'd be all these iguana babies there. And see, this is just bringing us back. Oh, okay. I, we have to go downstairs. Hey there. Okay, yeah, and we'd go downstairs and, well, no, we wouldn't go downstairs. We'd go to the place and we'd open a big this curtain. Is the muddy runner. Any trouble. trouble and your muddy will be rubber and tutters hello what the hell do you want your friend i slit her goddamn throat sorry friend emily's dead iguana killed her i don't need a reward to bring you this really sad message your friend emily fed dead humans to iguanas and was killed by them where is my <laughs> reward for this news <laughs> here this i'll be all right though what did you need ah uh, really that's it this is it. That's it. We're done. That's it. 
Ah, oh, sweet Jesus. I'll be right here when you get thirsty. Really? That's it? Come on. Come on, puppy. Yet that you're not even matching the background. Puppy, that's not that's not what that's not okay, puppy's not. Alright. Look at this dumb bimbo getting ready to look at her mouth. Just ready. Just ready. Hey, hey you bimbo. Evening. I'm not talking about you. Bimbo McGee over there. You've had too much, Trini. Go sleep it off in the back. Yeah, you bimbo. Don't say when I've had enough. You aren't my mother, Belle, so fuck off. Whoa! Holy Jesus! Oh, you're gonna let your customers? You're gonna let your customers? Hey, babe. Hey, Trini. Hey, good looking. How come you haven't bought me a drink yet? Because you are so balding that I could see my reflection in it, and I look goddamn good. Tight wad. Yep. Yeah, all right. No, wait. I didn't mean that. Shut your goddamn mouth. You're lost, sugar. Come and see me again sometime. That old hey. man back there, he hey. always buys her drinks. He loves her. Okay, so we are gonna go find the Iguana Baby Orphanage and bomb hey. it to hell. And, uh... <laughs> Jerry, come on. Jerry, you can talk to Abraham. Hey. Whatever. You, you, whatever. Alright, we're gonna go find that Iguana Orphanages and bomb it to hell. So, we'll be back.